Good evening, everybody. Jason here from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, with the next part of 100 Days of Gaming. 100 Days of Gaming is part of Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free, and then start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers, and all those pledges go toward your helping the kids at your local children's hospital, and then you get to play games for 24 hours straight on November 2nd. I've been part of Extra Life for seven years now. And I've been uh, playing games to help raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps out over 100,000 sick and injured children every year. And Extra Life is a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good for, for kids in your community. And we're doing 100 days of gaming to help make Extra Life even bigger and better than ever before. And, and they just keep getting bigger anyway. Because last year in 2018, over 50,000 participants in 107 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S. by raising over $13.48 million. So, if you want to get involved, there's still lots of time. It's lots of fun. Uh, so, and you've got nothing to lose. You get to play games for 24 hours and you get to help kids. Everybody wins. So, if you'd like to sign up, or if you'd like to learn more, go to www.extra-life.org. Uh, but for now, uh, for the next hour, I will be continuing my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII, because it's my on my gaming bucket list to beat this game before the remake comes out, or, or, or by game day. So, so let's keep going. Okay, now I remember where I got last night. Uh, I know that the Materia Keeper is the great big boss there that I have to fight. So, but according to a handy dandy guide that I've uh, that I have access to, uh, well, after reading about this guy's weaknesses and his absorbing powers, well, basically I'll sum up as fire bad. So what I'm going to do is that I am actually going to get rid of any fire materia that we have and do some ice ones instead. Summon Shiva? Yep, that'll be a good idea. All of the magic and skill. Oh, yeah, fire. Yep, fire bad. Oh, I'll get rid of that, just to be sure. Okay, and I'll get some ice magic paired up with my elemental materia. Titan and Ramu, that should do. Let's see. I'm just thinking about what would be the best way to... Let's see, I know the Earth is still my healer, so... Oh, she's also got fire magic, so I'll get rid of that just to be sure. Okay, good, she's got poison and sense, so let's see, what else... Okay, I think I've got a, I think I've got a good mix of, of materia here. So, uh, so let's, let's see. Anything else I can give, I can give Tifa here. Skill, so okay, looks like that'll be good. Let's see, 
everything else I can. I think that's pretty good. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's play around with this setup here. So oh, you're big. I fought bigger. Baby. Okay, Earth, do your thing. Man, the last time I got the hell combo, they really did. They, they really ch cheated me out on the chili chimps. the wrong guy? Ah, oh, damn! Ouch. Well, you got the train skill, so that's something. You got lousy sh you got lousy aim, Aerith. Use it. Okay, we got this guy on the ropes. The quarterback is toast! Good job, team! Hey, 
got the counter materia. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's just see what that gem ring does. Next it's paralyzed, petrify, and slow down. Okay. I'll do the I'll you save the counter attack. Okay. Okay. Aerith, heal up everybody. There's Beether. Save up. And we are out of here. Okay, let's see then. Which way should I go next? Jump. Yeah, lightning damage on all opponents. Nice. Okay, so let's see. According next to the next guy that I've got on here, next stop is next stop is Rocket Town, which we found north of the area. We emerged from the cave. Okay, let's see. Whoop! Let's double check the map. Yeah, I really can't see the map that good. But it's so I'll save here anyway. Yeah, I can't pass that mountain range there. This would be so much more easier if I still had that buggy. Okay, these guys look like trouble. Okay, let's just wail on them. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, this looks like the place. It looks like that this place is Rocket Town. Okay, save up before heading on in. What's that? Oh, it's the rocketed Rocket Town. A rusty old rocket. 
I wonder why they made something so huge. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. The captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when Shinra was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see a man in a black cape? Man in a black cape? Mm, nope, never seen him. Let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, let's see. I think it may actually be uh, be time to upgrade everybody's armor. I think that everybody is not doing very good right now. So let's see. Yeah, so I did get the gold armlet from the dragon that I was able to I was able to steal it from a dragon last night. And again, thanks for the people tuning in and giving me that tip. So what I'll do then is that I'll buy two. Gun is a man's weapon! Nothing else will do! Okay, let's see. Silver armlet. I'll those. And let's see what else we got here. Well, don't say I never got anything for you, Vincent. new gun right now. I do tend to hang on to a lot of these old items. Okay, let's see, any other items here that we can equip here? that there was uh, some auto-equip function. Oh yeah, he can hold lots of material. I'll leave that one alone. Gun is a band's weapon. Did I, did I, did I forget to give it to Vincent? Okay.
Okay, actually, I'm feeling generous. Let's get gold armlets for everybody. Yep, and the train comes in, everybody rides. I just wish that there were that there was a way for you to swap out your team members while in while inside town, so that way I can I can quickly do all this equip stuff. dealer here. Yep, gotta do Vincent. Let's see. Let's just double check all the ones that I got rid of. Sell the spares. Let's see what else there is around here. Hmm, is it real or fake? Would you like something to drink? Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative, so you should really talk with him. to the Shanghai Inn. It's 100 gil a night. Would you like to spend the night? Yeah, sure. Big spender. Anything around, anything around here, so I'll bail. That rusted up rocket is all that remains of the Shinra space program. This used to be a Shinra base where they launch rockets. You saw the leading rocket, right? At Shinra number 26. Never got it off the ground, though. It just looms there. That's how the town got its name. Shinra number 26. Want to look at the rocket with me? Yeah, let's look at the rocket. Yep, that's definitely a rocket. 
I get so impressed every time I look at it. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kind of hobby. Yep, just staying here all day, staring at a rocket. Not much to do. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. Oh, Yoshiyuki. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. Ah, that's a new weapon for Cloud. He looks like, according to the guide here, like see his scissors, good attack power is even more powerful when he, when he rallies his KO'd. He only has two unpaired materia slots, so... Yeah, not really, not really good at this point in the game. Gotta replenish the items. Welcome! This is the item shop! Always like getting everything in, everything in multiples of five. Is there anything that can excite me? Got any materia? Ah, uh, yes. Magic, time magic. Hmm, I think it'll pass for now. Hmm. Treasure chest! Drill arm. Oh, well, it looks like that. That's a new weapon for Barrett. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I guess it's one of the tropes uh, of the genre that that all these people don't mind you just coming in and taking all their stuff. It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Uh, yeah, you keep at that, buddy. Okay, before I forget, I'll just head right back on out and give there it is, new weapon here. Actually, say it's safer for later. Let's see. I did see another. Did see another door back here. Oh, a plane! There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. Oh, this is cool. Shinra always keeps the best things for themselves. Let's take it! Um, may I help you? 
No, we're, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira, and what are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Barrett of Avalanche! I'm Aerith! Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra? I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. Dot dot dot? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus! He's coming here. Okay, looks like I gotta head to the rocket. Uh, but I see uh, by, by the old clock on the wall, I've been up now for... I've been streaming now for half an hour, so this is a good time for a station break. Hope you're watching me play Final Fantasy VII as part of 100 Days of Gaming, and 100 Days of Gaming is part of Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games and heal kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and then start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. And all those pledges go toward your local children's hospital. And then you get to play games for 24 hours straight on November 2nd. Or if November 2nd is no good for you, you can play any day that you like. Or if 24 hours is no good for you, you can play as long as you like. You can play whatever you like, whenever you like. Uh, you can stream if you like, and this weekend is Extra Life Tabletop Weekend, so so you can play all those kinds of games as well. It's all good, because you'll be playing games and healing kids. I've been part of Extra Life for seven years now, and I've been playing games to help raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps out over 100,000 sick and injured kids every year. And that is why we do Extra Life, and that is why we're doing 100 Gays of Gaming to help make Extra Life even bigger and better than before. Last year in 2018, over 50,000 participants in 107 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S. by raising over $13.48 million. So we're doing 100 Days of Gaming uh, to help make Extra Life even bigger and better than before, before the big day. So if you'd like to sign up for Extra Life, or if you'd like to learn more, go to www.extra-life.org. But now, let's continue with my Final Fantasy VII playthrough. Okay, so... Let's head up the rocket! Okay, guess... Guess I gotta go this way. Yeah, it doesn't look like that there's any random objects not nailed down, so... I gotta, guess I got, just gotta keep going up. You know what? I don't need to run. I'm gonna enjoy the view. And there's no random monsters up here. Uh, hey, dude. What are you guys doing here? Uh, we heard the captain was here. I'm the captain! Ah, Sid. Okay, a little side note. Uh, yes, I'm going to PAX West in Seattle next uh, next week. And at a couple years ago, Uber and Final Fantasy XV was having a special promo uh, around Seattle. Basically, you can get a free rides in mini convertible Coopers dressed up to look like Chocobos. And also, they had a cosplayer slash model dressed as Sid from Final Fantasy XV parked out front with her with her tow truck from the game. Right, so you could talk with, with, with Sid and have, get, get her picture taken, and I must admit, I did as well. So, just a little side note there. The name's Sid. Everybody calls me Captain, though. What do you want? Tell me about this rocket. Well, not bad for a kid. All right, then. I'll explain it to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during that meaningless little war, right? Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space. Our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. 
Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Hey, I mean, come on! And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. But because of that dumbass Shinra, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so Shinra nicks their outer space exploration plans. After they told me how the future was space exploration and they got my damn hopes up! Damn them! Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, Bula, and Dero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be, in, be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. Thing will be falling over or me getting out of here. Last hope is to talk to the president. Last hope is to talk to the president. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that's all I'm getting out of him. Okay, so let's make my way back to the tiny Bronco out back. But, yeah, let's see. Okay, looks like, according to the strategy guide, there's a boss battle next. But, it says here this one's actually pretty easy. Excuse me, Cloud? Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh? Bleep, Shinra! What are you, blind? We got guests! Get some tea! Blank! Uh, I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Yeah! Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea! Ah, damn, I'm pissed! Shira, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. And make sure to send us a tea, alright? Damn, man, what's up with that guy's attitude? Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. Is it, is it like this all the time? He keep quiet even when he's like that, do you? No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear! You work like a snail! Even the moon got tired waiting around for your ass! I I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that bleeping oxygen tank! Sure, being careful's good, but no matter how many times you check the oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing would have break even if hell froze over. But, no buts! You're not stupid, so be more efficient! I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true! We're so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26! We're so proud we can't even close our mouths! Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain, fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. It's red panel, all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine rising, Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch, beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. 
A mechanic is still at the engine section of a rocket! What? Who is the little black? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, God damn it! Who the bleep is still in there? It's Sierra, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Sierra, what are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little bleep! It's gonna get hot in there, so it's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be bleep left when we blast off! You're gonna get burned to a crisp! You're gonna die! You know that, don't ya? I don't mind. If I could just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done! Almost done? You're gonna die! See, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute! Jerry's still in here! What are you going to do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch! God damn it, Shira! You want to make me a murderer? Captain! Shira? Tank number seven check is complete. Once it complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira, hurry up! You're going to die! 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make any time. What? What am I, what am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until addition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon! Out of space! My dreams! Ignite engine! Sleep! Was anticlimactic. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why. It's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shira, you still haven't served him tea! Uh, I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down. Or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? <sighs> They're late. Where is Rufus? Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, but ain't Fat Man Palmer. How long you figuring on keep me waiting? Dude, don't body shame me. So, when's the space program going to start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside, so when did you ask him? Bleep! Good for nothing, fat bleep! Don't say fat! Hey, hey, tea! Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and, oh yeah, don't forget the lard! Lard? Uh, oh, oh, okay, I don't know if that's a thing or not, and, I, and I'm not a tea drinker, so I'll just let this one pass. Okay. Well, we'll sit out the front door. Okay. So it looks like the next thing that I got to do is I'll sit out the front door, but this time... <whistles> yep, but first time I'll just... I'll just I'll just get up there at first with some materia. Got a sink. Yeah, it looks like a boss fight is coming up next. But according to the guide, it looks like it's a really easy one. So.
Senator Rufus here to announce that he's going to restart the space program? I don't. No, I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Hey, hey, have we met before? Hey, hey, is the tea ready yet? The plenty sugar honey. Oh yeah, don't forget the lord. What the? You will be all excited for nothing? Then what do you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but it seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now we think we know where he's headed. But we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. Blee! Eight. First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco. Shinra took outer space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my, he seemed to forget it was because of Shinra Incorporated that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palm is going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Okay, I'll go. Talk to him. I'll talk to him a lot. Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building! When the president was killed! Whoop. Security! Tell us what we're dealing with here. One eighty six, okay. <laughs> oh, it is odd. Okay, that's it. You taught me like this. Let me introduce you to my little friend.
<laughs> oh man, I hope that isn't a Wario attack. You've had too much to drink, sir. <laughs> oh man, is he gonna get Indiana Jones? Oh, partially right. Uh, what's the movie reference to make here? End to Eternity? Or North by Northwest? Oh, jeez! Hit! Leap! The tail's been hit! Emergency landing! This is gonna be a big splash! Hold on your drawers and don't piss at them! I suddenly find myself looking forward to this scene in Remake. <sighs> she won't fly anymore. Can't we use it as a boat? Bleep! Do whatever you want! Sid, what will you do now? I don't know. I'm in history with Shinra, and I've given up on that town. How about your wife, Shira? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just think about marrying her. It gives me the chills. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? We're going after a band named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any about that, but... What the hell? Sign me up! How about it, everyone? I'm all for it. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls! Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has got to be a dub skull. I like it. So, where are we headed? Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it, that Temple of the Ancients? I don't know. That dub skull was telling me he was heading in the wrong direction. So maybe it's uh this way? Let's just head for land to get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. Okay, how to fly the tiny Bronco. Press OP button to get on, cancel to get off. You can cross shallow waters and rivers. Let's get it on off it on the beach. Hmm. Okay, here let me see. Looks like. Let's get a feel for it first. Yeah, low poly flying for the win. 
Okay, okay. So in any case, yeah, it looks like I think that's it. it and I can't, I can't access the menu yet. Yeah, this release at first I was flying, but I'll take it. said I can get off and on on the beach, but, but where the heck is the beach? <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so I see I've been on on for about an hour now, uh, so looks like that that's time to call it a night. You've been watching me play Final Fantasy VII as part of 100 Days of Gaming. 100 Days of Gaming is part of Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and then start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers uh, that all go towards your local children's hospital and then you get to play games for 24 hours straight and this year the big day is November 2nd. I've been part of Extra Life now for seven years and I play games to help raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary, Alberta. And Extra Life is a great way to have a lot of fun, to do a lot of good. You play games and heal kids, it's that simple. And Extra Life just keeps getting bigger and better every year. Last year in 2018, over 50,000 participants in 107 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S. by raising over $13.48 million. And that is just all kinds of amazing. And that's why we do 100 Days of Gaming, to help make Extra Life even bigger and better than ever before. So... If you would like to sign up for Extra Life uh, to, help, uh, to help sick and injured kids in your hometown, or if you'd like to learn more, go to www.extra-life.org. Or if you'd like to help me in my efforts to raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital, you'll find a link to my Extra Life donation and marathon page below. Well, thanks for tuning in uh, for the next night of 100 Days of Gaming and my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. It's on my gaming bucket list to beat this game. And I hope to beat it before game day at the earliest, or before Remake comes out in March. Uh, well, I'll probably tune in again tomorrow night and get the next hour under my belt. So thanks for tuning in, and remember, as always, for the kids. Good night, everybody. <laughs>